Hey, Kelly. Ugh, so jealous of your boobs. Thank you. Um, listen, I just wanted to confirm that you're not coming to the wedding, which is totally understandable and more than fine. Is Ryan going? I don't know, he hasn't RSVP'd yet. We invited everyone in the office to our wedding, even though we realized most people wouldn't be able to make the drive to Niagara Falls, which is why we're having it in Niagara Falls. Then Michael told everyone they could have Friday and Monday off if they came. So now people have to decide if they want to come to our wedding or have to work. Here's the deal. I really want to go, but I'm not going to go if Ryan doesn't go because it's kind of a waste of time. Uh, that came out wrong. It would be awesome if you could try to get him to go because I'd really like to be there to support Jim. Hey, Ryan. Hey. So I just wanted to confirm that you're not coming to my wedding. Yeah, I might stop by. It costs about $75 per person. Okay, I once had a glass of cognac that cost $77, so. Can you just tell me now if you're coming or not? Yes. I'm coming to your wedding. Okay. Ryan Howard, yes? Probably yes. Kelly Kapoor, yes. Niagara Falls in October? Hells yeah. Do you think that you could send in your RSVP card? No, I'll just tell you now. Easier. Well, you have to choose a food option, and there's information in there about directions and lodging. I'll just have whatever's fanciest, unless there's ribs, and I'll just get all the other information the day of. I'll text you. You are going to text me the morning of my wedding mm -hmm. to ask for directions. Right and you will eat whatever is fanciest. Unless there's ribs. Rude. So rude, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I have been chasing people down all day. It's incredible. Pam, my bag was there. What's going on? I need to fit into my wedding dress. However, I'm also pregnant. You know, it's a myth that women have to gain more than nine pounds in a pregnancy. Look at these actresses. Some of them lose weight. Hey, did you guys register for wedding gifts? We did, but mostly because people expect us to. We're also accepting other gifts, not on the registry. However much. It's awkward asking people for money, but we could really use it. Why doesn't Crate and Barrel let you register for a toaster full of cash? Perfect. I hate registries. Oh, good. <laughs> My cousin makes the most amazing romantic birdhouse mailboxes. I know I shouldn't tell you, but you'll still be surprised when you see it. You're not registered for a birdhouse, are you? No, we're not. Good. Good. Hey, Pam. I heard that you were registered, but I didn't hear where. I don't think we registered anywhere. We just want cash. Like money? Like you, you want my money? Mm-hmm. Will you take a check? Yeah. Cool. In the memo line, I'm gonna write, to love's eternal glory. Okay. Wait till Monday. Is this what I've become? Materialistic, shallow, I feel horrible. Oh, look, Mrs. Pam Halpert. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen it in writing. Heard you guys are looking for cash for the wedding? Yeah, I mean, if it's all the same for you. Question for you, would you guys rather have $100 now or $5,000 a year from now? $100 now, for sure. Because you just gave me $50 to cover the broker fee. I put in 100 of my own money as the gift. Yeah, no. No, I'll, um, the 100. I'll just take the 100. Instead of $5,000 a year from now. How sure is this? The guy has an algorithm to determine the winner of any given college basketball game. Don't tell Jim. Well, what do you think? I spent all morning doing it. It is really special. <laughs> yeah, but aren't you supposed to do that to Ark? No, it's great. Well, it's just a really important day for me. Well, congrats. Thanks. Uh, believe it or not, Kevin, firecrackers are in the don't column. So you're going to provide them then? 
No, this is a firecracker free wedding. Oh, oh, come on, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, all of these things are important to remember, but the most important thing is that no one say anything about my pregnancy at the wedding. Absolutely, because not everyone knows and some people might be offended. Decent people everywhere will get offended. Well, we're thinking of my grandmother, who we haven't told and who is very old fashioned. Well, you're lucky to have a grandmother. Some of us have to be our own grandmother. That you know, sense. Angela, um, you don't have to come to the wedding. Yes, really? she does. Yes, she does. We're all going to go and we're going to have a good time. Ow! He pitched me. No. Next time we're all in this room, Jim and I will be married. We'll see. Thank you, Dwight. Goodbye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Helperts. Helperts. And Beasley. Tonight we're in two separate rooms and then tomorrow night is the honeymoon suite. Great. I know, we're pretty excited too. Can we take a look at the suite now? Oh, I'm sorry, somebody just checked in. Oh, is there another wedding at the hotel this weekend? Oh no, just an individual. Got in there. Hey, I got the room the night before you guys. I'll break in the bed. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm gonna need the name and cell phone number of the housekeeper responsible for changing the sheets, please. So, uh, which one is Pam's grandma? Oh, Mima? Mm -hmm. She's the one in the teal suit. She's the only 80-year-old with no smile uh, wrinkles. Dad, remember, no mention of the baby, right? Oh, yeah, 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 she's very conservative. So mom's word. I'm Dad, this is Michael Scott. How oh. you doing? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Who's doing a toast? I would like to go third, sort of back clean up. If... Michael, I thought we'd discuss that we'd rather you not speak, like, at all because it's just gonna be blood relatives, I think. That is seriously going to impede my ability to hook up with your female relatives. I'm pretty sure everybody heard that. Didn't know I lived. Hey, what is the deal with the smart car? How smart is that? Those things are tiny. Can you even drive them in traffic? Uh, I'm so smart. E equals MC squared. I, I drive a smart car. That's not smart in my book. The real smart car is Kit. From Knight Rider. Knight Rider. That's a car that can talk. <laughs> can smart car talk? Nope, no. that's not smart. And also Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Very smart. And you, everybody can laugh. It doesn't have to just be the idiots. Everybody can laugh. Nope. Yeah, go ahead. All right, hey everyone, thanks for coming. Douche. Ah, oh, thanks Pete, that was really nice. I just want to say how happy we are that all of you are here tonight. And I want to especially thank those of you who have traveled from far away to be here with us tonight, especially the Florida cousins, who obviously can't take a hint. <laughs> Four years ago, I was just a guy who had a crush on a girl who had a boyfriend. And I had to do the hardest thing that I've ever had to do, which was just to wait. Uh, don't get me wrong, I flirted with her. Pam, I can now admit in front of friends and family that I do know how to make a photocopy. <laughs> Didn't need your help that many times. And uh, do you remember how long it took you to teach me how to drive stick? Like a year. I've been driving stick since high school. So, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. For a really long time, that's all I had. I just had little moments with a girl who saw me as a friend. And a lot of people told me I was crazy to wait this long for a date with a girl who I worked with. But I think even then I knew that I was waiting for my wife, so. <laughs> I would like to propose a toast. So if you'd all raise your glasses, not Pam for obvious reasons, but everyone else, if you would raise your glasses. What's obvious? Why can't Pam drink? Pam can't drink? Who, I didn't, I shouldn't have said that. I don't know why I, I did. She can do whatever she wants, though she shouldn't. <laughs> she shouldn't because she's an alcoholic. Pam is an alcoholic. Well, That's not true. I, no, the, what we wanted, the real, re the real reason is that um, the, the, the Pam's pregnant. Um, <coughs> okay, okay, okay. Hey, what I think Jim is trying to say is that they had an accident. And you know what? These two people, they're living together. They are having lots of consensual sex. Yeah, they were living together? Yes, yes, they were living together, yes. And you know what? You can't expect them to be careful every time because frankly it's just a different sensation. Michael. When you come, well, am I wrong? They say it's not different, but it's a different sensation. Oh my God. When oh, you please. use mm. something to block 
Yeah, I think everybody knows what I am talking about. It's not necessarily different for the woman, Michael. but it is different. Okay, okay, okay. Michael, or stop. All right. My point is, I said what I wanted to say, and Mima, I hope you heard every word. All right. Chip. Two waiting. Two waiting. Okay. Two waiting. <coughs> You call that a robot? Try being more robotic, okay? Like this. Oh. Lane, what else you got here? How about a little bit of this? Oh, oh yeah! Bring it, bring it. What else you got? Did someone change my name to Baskin Robbins? Because I feel like a banana split. dancing and I did a split and I landed on my car keys in my pocket. What? I tore my scrotum. I need you to take me to the hospital. Andy, I'm getting married in eight hours. Everyone else is too drunk. Just don't let me die here. Hey, hey, where are you? Can you take Andy to the hospital? What? He tore his scrotum dancing. What? He is in my room icing his balls. What? Please stop saying what. Can you take him? Look, I would so take him in any other circumstance, but I'm pretty certain I'm completely wasted. Your brothers took you out drinking. Uh... Is that Pam? Hey, have her come out. Have her come out. It'll be like Coyote Ugly. That's Michael. You're out with Michael? And Dwight. Hey, oh! Pam, it just happened. Okay, fine. I'll take him. I love you. Okay, I gotta go. I love you. Are you pushing me off the phone? No. Let's talk for a long time. Goodbye. Are you sure this is the right way? Nope. I, like you, have never been here before. Well, at least slow down a little bit because every little bump in the road is major pain on my scrotum. Look, I'm not the one who asked you to do a split when you've never done one before. <laughs> no, no, I was trying to liven things up a little bit, okay? I was kind of doing your job, so. My job? My job is to get married in the morning. That's and, my job. Well, it's also to make sure we have a great time at your stupid wedding, so. I spent the night with the bride the night before the wedding. Oh, yeah. And she stepped on my hand on her way to the bathroom. Andy, did I dream that you were crying through the night? No. No, that was real. Is it zipping over your belly? Don't squish the baby. Thank you, weirdo. Everybody's seen Christy's stupid blonde extensions. It's like they were made from a plastic broom. OK, here I come. Oh, Dora, oh, you look beautiful. Thanks, Mom. I hope he deserves you. He does. Are you sure? Remember, you don't have to do this. You don't. Mom, you're, Mom, you're totally projecting you being a drag. Yes, thank you, Mom. Hey, um, I'm gonna go outside and talk to Dwight. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I'll see you in a second. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, no. Hey. Can you come here, please? Is this allowed? No, no, but I'm allowing it. Just come here. Hey. Wow. You look... Terrible. So beautiful. Hey. My veil tore. I knew when we were getting married and I'm five months pregnant that I'm not going to be able to wear the dress that I always wanted, or high heels. Hey, you look just as I imagine you. Bam, you're so pretty. Thank you. And who cares? It's a stupid veil, right? No, this is the one thing I was supposed to be able to control was this veil. There. Now we're even.
driving me crazy. I know way too much about Andy's scrotum. <laughs> and my mom won't stop freaking out about my dad's new girlfriend. Oh, this is supposed to be our wedding day. Why didn't we invite all these people?